Anda kembali dalam Tech Conference 2021 dengan tema Future 5G Global Connectivity, Cloud Computing, and Internet of Things. Dan kita lanjutkan kembali diskusi kita bersama Bapak Syuris Subramaniam, Chief Technology Officer PT Smart Friend Telekom TBK. Okay, Mr. Shuris, we got a lot of questions from the viewers. Let's start with the first one for the segment. It's from Dini from Tangerang. In the in the roadmap that has been presented just now, we see that 5G technology will also be disseminated to the industrial and other users. My question is, will this 5G technology replace all old devices? And what about the previous technology? Can it be integrated? Yeah. It is a really very, interesting very question. Good, <laughs> very good question, I think, because they have invested in the device they want yes. to do. So, yeah. So, I think the device today is still, you know, it is a 4G device. Mm -hmm. It's not yet 5G device. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 5G device, I see uh, what we watch slowly being introduced. Mm -hmm. Now, what is going to be introduced, I think, starting this quarter onwards, mm -hmm could be 5G ready. Not all, but there could be some. So what's our job as a MNO is mm -hmm. to work with the OEM partners, like you know Samsung, Xiaomi, Oppo, all these OEM mm -hmm. partners, to turn on the 5G when we are ready. right? So will it replace the old device? No. You mm -hmm. can still use it for whatever technology you are in. Like for smartphone, you are using it for 4G. Mm -hmm. You will continue to do use it for 4G. Mm -hmm. But when we go to 5G, as I said, 4G network will never be turned off. It's always there. Mm -hmm. So the 5G devices will need to be procured mm -hmm. or some device which supports 5G, we can work with the OEM to turn it on. Mm -hmm. Then you can use it. See? So mm -hmm. that's how it is. So it mm -hmm. will not replace. It's only will enhance in some case or we need to get the new device to enjoy 5G. Mm -hmm. that's all. Okay. You know? So the 4G, we, we don't have to replace them. No. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we got then a, our next question from Franciscus. And the question is uh, for smart friend, is the 5G backbone separate from 4G? Are the 5G smartphones capable of 10 gig, uh, gigabytes? Okay. So first question first, the backhole, there's no separation. Mm -hmm. So they will operate at their own technology, but they mm -hmm. could be sharing the same pipe. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a technology how we split in a pipe, where is 4G and 5G traffic. We can do all those. It, it's there. So there's mm -hmm. no different infrastructure mm -hmm. for, for backhauling. As mm -hmm. for the device, yeah, it mm -hmm. can support up to 10 Gbps, but mm -hmm. it's a 5G device because it all depends on the, the new chipsets that, mm -hmm. you know, from the chipset providers. See? So the higher end devices at some mm -hmm. stage, yes, it will be able to support, you know. Mm -hmm. So today in Indonesia, because we are still getting there, so mm -hmm. they are slowly bringing in. I can, as I said, we are seeing devices are already starting to come in. Mm -hmm. So the more the network get matured, it will be turned on mm -hmm. slowly. Okay, so before your closing statement, I want to ask about the innovation that Smart Friend right. will do uh, in the meantime for this 5G project. Yeah. Yeah. So as I said, uh, we, we started our journey in uh, 2019 mm -hmm. earlier. So to learn, to see, to anticipate what can help each of those industries that mm -hmm. uh, will benefit 5G. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, a, what we call an innovation lab. We continue to to discuss with the partners mm -hmm. to see how the solution will work and we are we are ever evolving you know if you know us from CDMA to LTE we we always innovation mm -hmm. is in our DNA I mm -hmm. would say you know so <laughs> there's always a lab and you know we have been uh, challenged all the time to mm -hmm. make sure that we introduce something always that is you know anticipation of what is needed from the market Mm -hmm. So I think if you talk, we are very proud of all our innovation. You will see even our products mm -hmm. are very innovative products. So okay. Uh, Suris, please with your closing statement, what yeah. is your plan and your hope for Smart Friend and the project that yeah. will be going on? 
Thank you, uh, Pai Daniel. So, uh, as uh, I've uh, repeatedly said, mm -hmm. we in Smart Friend are fully ready to take the journey of 5G as how we introduce uh, 4G into the country. So, we are ready and we will uh, ensure that when we launch, we launch the right uh, 5G experience. And I'm uh, requesting, uh, please enjoy the 4G services that we are providing and we are ever, you know, uh, innovating those offering that we give you. But do look out for our 5G mm -hmm. uh, launches that, uh, you know, in near future it will be seen. Mm -hmm. Thank I you. believe I believe everyone is waiting for the innovation yeah. that Smart Friend will give to the customer and the consumer especially. Thank you very much, Bapak Suri Subramaniam, Chief Technology Officer PT Smart Friend Telecom TBK. Jangan lupa untuk install aplikasi CNBC Indonesia di App Store dan juga di Play Store untuk terus mengikuti informasi dan berita terkini terkait ekonomi dan juga bisnis.